In this video, I'll be covering the final battle between Invincible and Thrag. Spoilers ahead. Invincible grabbed Thrag and said, I won't let you kill any more of your own children. Thrag was beating Invincible with his children's bodies. Invincible grabbed Thrag's body and flew into the sun. That's when Thrag's daughter Yursel said, Soldiers of the new Viltrum army, hear me. She told her siblings to stop. Our father has abandoned us. He no longer fights for us, if he ever truly did. She wanted to surrender because she saw Thrag use her brothers and sisters as weapons to beat Invincible until they splattered and then he kept beating him with the remaining body parts. They immediately stopped fighting and lined themselves up in front of the coalition ship and they just surrendered. Meanwhile, Invincible and Thrag continued to fight on the sun. Invincible said, what are you trying to accomplish then? If the Vildrum Empire is dead, if you don't see any hope for our people, why build an army? Why conquer planets? What's the point of all this? Thrag said, isn't it obvious? Revenge. You and your father, chosen, gifted with the bloodline of Argal, destined to rule the Empire. After I devoted my entire life to safeguarding it, I am supposed to bow to the scum who obliterated our home planet? No, I'll see your treacherous bloodline erased from history. Suddenly, there was an explosion on the sun that melted off their clothes. Thrag said, you were insane to bring us here. If it's your wish to do my job for me and follow your father in death, so be it. Thrag said, I'll leave you to burn if that's your wish. I still have many more of those you care about I'd like to kill before this is over. Invincible flew after him and caught him and said, no, you don't leave your life. Even if killing you kills me, I won't give up. Thrag said, I welcome a challenge. Thrag said, file this once under, be careful what you wish for. Invincible said, you don't seem as fast as you used to. Distracted by the pain, Thrag grabbed him by the throat and said, just trying to catch you off guard. Throat and tossed him into the sun and said, you'll soon realize how foolish this fight was. Invincible stopped himself before he reached the flames but his back was burnt. Invincible flew towards him and said, file under nice try. Thrag said, now your transmitter is scorched. If you have any poignant words, I'll only be hearing every other word. Invincible kept fighting and said, words not important. Thrag said, I couldn't agree more. I don't need to hear your misguided platitudes on how things should be or what I should be doing. Thrag tried to punch Invincible further into the sun. Invincible grabbed him from behind and started to fly. Meanwhile, Thrag was saying, the only thing you need to know is that you can't be allowed to live. You were destined to die the moment you were. That's when Thrag realized Invincible is flying them into the sun. He said, ho oh, hell. Invincible flew straight into the sun. When they came back up, their skin was completely melted off. Invincible immediately attacked Thrag and punched him, but he was still in shock. He couldn't believe his skin melted off. Invincible didn't waste a second thinking about his skin. He just said, I wish you could hear me. Because I just figured out why I'm going to win and why you're definitely going to lose. Invincible said, my father, I yelled at him for letting you live. But I see now. That's when he proved himself as a leader. That's when he showed what our people could be. You, you sorry sack of shit, you never saw your potential. Meanwhile, he was hitting Thrag. That's when Robot sent one of his suits. Invincible said, you, oh God. But the suit actually came to protect him. He wore it as armor. Invincible said, do you know what this means? Do you get it? My enemy has sent his outermost protective shield to help me. I only wish I knew how to use this thing. It has weapons that could even hurt you. Still, this will protect me for a few moments before it completely melts. Where's your help? Thrag attacked him and Invincible said, your own children aren't coming to help you, are they? No one cares about you. Thrag attacked him and he punched him in the face and said, Each punch I throw has the weight of everyone I love and everyone who loves me behind it. You feel the force of who I'm fighting for in every blow. Invincible said your punches have nothing behind them but your own strength. Because you're a Viltrumite who clings to the old ways. The sun flared up again but they never stopped fighting. Invincible said you see us only as people living for conquest measured only by the size of our empire. Invincible just kept beating him, saying no room for peace, no room for compassion, no room for love. You thought you were keeping the Empire alive, pulling us back from the brink of extinction. The truth is, you were holding us back. Under your leadership, the Viltrumites stood for nothing, fought for nothing, just like you. Invincible punched Thrag further into the sun and said, Look what they became under my father's leadership. Look how they transformed. You can't see it, you can't allow yourself to see it, but it's there. Thrag headbutted him and broke his nose. Invincible said, they're here, they're fighting for Earth, their family's there. Invincible said, it's there, waiting to be nurtured so it can grow. We can be a force for good while he's pounding on Thrag. We can spread peace throughout the galaxy, we can love and be loved. 
He bit Thrag in the neck and ripped out his throat and said, We can be happy. Invincible said, Like I said, I wish you could hear me, but now you're dead and I'll soon follow. If only I could live to see it. Suddenly Alan flew in and rescued him, while Thrag burned to ashes. Alan took him back to the ship. He was burnt like coal. Eve saw him and said, Oh my God, is that? Alan said, It's Mark. Yes, they're going to do everything they can. He's going to get the best care. He's, I'm worried too. He survives, obviously. It's called Invincible. Eve said, It's all over. Terra is on our way here. We can go anywhere we want after this. We're free. Invincible said the doctor told him he'll be as good as new in a few days. He can't wait until Terra makes fun of him for not having any skin. Invincible said, how's my dad? Can I see him? Suddenly Eve got quiet. Omni-Man was dying. Invincible went to see him. He said, dad. And Omni-Man said, son, come in. Invincible said, are you? They say that you are. Oh God. He broke down in tears and started to hug Omni-Man saying, please dad, don't die. Omni-Man said, I'm afraid that's not up to me. Invincible said, aren't you healing? We've survived so much in the past. Omni-Man said, my heart is damaged. I was able to dodge the brunt of Thrag's attack, but not enough, it seems. Because of my damaged heart, my body isn't strong enough to repair itself. Invincible said, no, there's got to be a way to save you. Omni-Man said, there isn't. Listen to me, Mark. You have to be strong. Our people, they need you. It's time for you to lead the Viltrumites. Invincible said, I'm not ready for that. Omni-Man said, you're more ready than I was when I took over. Invincible said, I don't want it. Invincible said, that's not what I want for my life. I have a wife. I have a daughter. I need to be there for them. The way you were there for me without all the interruptions. Dad, I lost five years with my family. I can't take that kind of risk again. I only came back to help take down Thrag. I can't do this. Omni-Man said, where will you go? What will you do? Do you think there's any place out there you'll be safe? If so, for how long? And what you will be doing won't simply be hiding from your responsibilities. And before you answer, think about what it will mean to be in control of the Viltrum Empire and what kind of world you could build for your daughter. They need you, Mark, not just a leader, not just someone worthy. They need you. I think about Thrag, what he did, and it reminds me who I am, who I was. But more than that, who I could easily be again. Invincible said, no, you would never. You're better than that. Omni-Man said, if I am, it's because of you. I need you to know that, son. Omni-Man said, I was born of our people, their ways. Their ways were savage and brutal. They were barbaric. That is present in all our kind. It's what leads them to make mistakes. They can slip up, backslide into the old ways, like Anissa. Invincible froze. He was wondering if Omni-Man knew what Anissa did to him. Omni-Man said, you are free from that. You are always on a different path. You can show us the way. Omni-Man said, you can, then he started to cough up blood. Invincible said, dad, dad, I'll get help. Omni-Man said, no, I'm fine, you have to listen to me. Omni-Man said, you're gonna lead our people to great heights. You're gonna show them your way, your compassion. You're going to, your mark, you change me, change them. Invincible said, no, I won't let you do that. You can't put that all on me. Mom didn't raise me alone, you were there too. Whatever part of me you say changed you, you helped put it there. You raised me with humanity. You didn't have to. You could have taught me the Viltrumite way since day one. The good you have brought to the Viltrumites, it started with you. It's already there and it's grown. If we can change as a people. It's you who showed us the way. The whole time Invincible was talking, Omni-Man was dead. He died after he said, you change me, change them. He realized he wasn't getting a response from Omni-Man. He said that. He just held him and started to cry. That's when his mother and daughter walked in. And his mom broke down too. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the bad audio.